Today we are going to talk about additional basic SQL operations, part of database management system course. In addition to the basic select, from and where clauses, there are several other operations that you can perform in SQL. The insert statement is used to add new rows to a table. The update statement is used to modify the data in existing rows in a table. The delete statement is used to delete rows from a table. The join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a common field. There are several types of joins including inner join, left join and right join. The union operator is used to combine the result sets of two or more select statements into a single result set. Aggregate function. Aggregate functions are functions that operate on a set of values and return a single value. Some common aggregate functions in SQL are count, sum, average, min and max. Here is an example of insert statement in SQL. This statement will insert a new row into the user table with the values john, john at example.com and abc123 in the name, email and password columns respectively. The insert statement is used to add new rows to a table in a database. It allows you to specify the values you want to insert into the table as well as the columns in which you want to insert them. Here is an example of an update statement in SQL. This statement updates the email column for the row with the customer ID of 123 in the customers table and sets it to the john at gmail.com. Here is an example of the delete statement in SQL. This statement will delete all rows from the user table where the email column has a value of john at example.com. The delete statement is used to remove rows from a table in a database. It allows you to specify a condition using a WHERE clause to select which rows to delete. Here is an example of the JOIN clause in SQL. This statement will select all rows from both the users and order tables and will return a result set that includes all columns from both tables. The JOIN clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. In this example, the on clause specifies that the ID column in the user table is related to the user ID column in the orders table and the join will match rows into the two tables where these clause columns are equal. There are several different types of joins available in SQL including inner join, outer join and cross join. The types of join you use will depend on the specific requirement of your query. Here is an example of the union operator in SQL. This statement will select all rows from the user tables where the city column has a value of either New York or Los Angeles and will return the result as a single set of rows. The union operator is used to combine the results of two or more select statements in a single result set. It removes duplicates, so only unique rows will be returned. You can use the union all operator instead of union if you want to include duplicates in the result set. This statement will count the number of rows in the user's table where the age column has a value greater than 30. The count star function is an aggregate function that returns a number of rows in a table. There are several other aggregate functions available in the SQL, including average, sum, min and max. These functions allows you to perform calculations on the data in your tables and return a single result. These are just a few examples of the operations that you can perform in SQL. There are many more options and features available for manipulating and querying data in a database. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.